Happy Friday and welcome back. I'm Randy Russell, superintendent of the Freeman School District. Super excited for the 22-23 school year. Want to thank all of you who were able to attend our open house on Monday. And what a great kickstart to the week. We've had a couple of great days of professional development for our staff, a great first day on Wednesday, and just continued that momentum for the next uh, three days. So excited to get to Friday of our first week, excited for our all school assembly today. All of our kindergarten through 12th grade students that are here are gonna be up at the high school for a great way to celebrate together and continue our Scotty tradition. So it's been a great week. Got a lot of excitement happening in the district. Uh, one of the big things, of course, is our middle school HVAC project. Thank you for joining us for this exciting adventure at Freeman Middle School. I'm here with Jeff Jurgensen, uh, Vice President with OAC Services, and Jim Straw, Freeman Middle School Principal. Thank you guys for your leadership and all that you've done with this amazing project. And JJ, maybe you could share a little bit about the partnership and Jim, what this means uh, to our student staff and community. Thanks, Randy. This is, uh, this is our third project uh, together. Uh, we'd like to thank the uh, community of Freeman uh, and the District of Freeman for our partnership. Uh, we're, we're here to support the students, uh, and this is, this is just another very important project uh, to the community and to the uh, education of the current students and the future students of Freeman School District. Thank you very much for the opportunity. You bet. Thank you, JJ. It's been great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. This is the improvements that have already been made. The project's not quite completed yet, but the learning environment has been improved drastically. Kids are able to come, uh, focus on their work, focus on the learning, focus on uh, improving themselves. And the staff is coming in, having a really relaxed, comfortable learning environment. It's just, it's been a great uh, improvement and we really appreciate it everyone who's helped with this. JJ, it's been great. Uh, Phil Johnson's done a fantastic job, and Randy, thank you for your vision to see this through. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, and just a special thank you to our students and staff and our parents and the, the support that we continue to receive as a school district. Okay, we're here at the middle school. We're in the mechanical room. This is the guts, kind of the operation of our new HVAC uh, project here at the middle school. So, been is super excited to work with OAC Services and TRM on this project, almost a $2 million HVAC project. And uh, as you're here in the mechanical room, you can see as you walk in, this, this is the actual guts and part of the entire operation. Thank you for your support uh, to all the people that helped us uh, with the successful capital projects levy. Go Scotties. Here we are in Mrs. Bissett's classroom at the middle school. I want to show you the new technology upgrades we made over the course of the summer. Todd Reed and his technology team were able to put in uh, two monitors and a brand new computer at each workstation, as well as a brand new document camera uh, over the course of the summer. Also installed in every classroom was a new LCD projector as well as a new screen to match the new LCD projector. And then to control it, we have our audio-visual technology panel for a teacher to have fingertip controls and then, of course, the brand new thermostat uh, in each of the uh, rooms which shows the inside temperature as well as the outside temperature. So I want to give a special thank you to all of you who helped supported our capital projects levy. 
which paid for the 2225 technology plan and each classroom has about $20,000 worth of technology in it to assist with teaching and learning. So thank you again for your support. Our transitional kindergarten program, which starts next week for four-year-olds. And then we've got our mojo back at the high school. So across the district, there's a lot of excitement. This is gonna be a big year for Freeman. We're gonna be focusing in on our Freeman 2025 strategic plan as well as a long range facilities plan for the district. So you're gonna have an opportunity, whether you're a staff member, for students and for parents and families to get involved, to share your insights, your thoughts, and have your voice be heard in both the strategic planning process and the long range planning process. A lot of people don't understand that we have one well in Freeman, it's a 50 gallon per minute well. We have one water right in Freeman. And as we continue to grow and expand and think about long-term facility planning for the district, it's something we're gonna to have to uh, keep an eye on. And we're gonna start that work here in September. So we're really excited. It's gonna be our best year ever. We've got some great new staff combined with our seasoned veteran, amazing staff. We've got new families connected with our families that have been with us for years. So if you need anything, let us know. Uh, tonight, girls soccer kicks things off at 4 o'clock at home. Uh, tonight, our first football game on the road at West Valley. And then from there, everything is just going to start continuing to have that great momentum of being here with the Freeman Scotties. So thanks for your support. If you need anything, let us know. Happy Labor Day weekend to you and your family. Pride, commitment, and caring. We are Freeman.